Hi guys, um, so uh, this is a, a video that's been dropped uh, by the team, I'm currently away at the minute, um, I've been in Ukraine this week but I'm having to drive our old Uaz out of Ukraine, unfortunately it can't stay um, due to some bureaucracy problems, um, it's not a Ukrainian registered vehicle and it is Russian manufactured. Um, there's been some laws passed which can't allow us to register the vehicle um, due to where it's from, which is, it, it is what it is. Uh, we've been trying to fight it for, um, well, Kevin has been trying to fight it for a period of time, but uh, unfortunately it's just not, not good. Uh, and we haven't got a result. So anyway, yeah, this is a video sent by the team. Um, I'm going to go into a bit of detail about some of the situations and things that we've we've had to face um, after the video. I don't want to bore you all, you know, uh, too soon. So, uh, yeah, this it's an aerial view of the minefield, and you'll see him obviously pulling the mines with the ropes and everything, and you'll see a lot of the work that's actually being done by the guys. We do have a lot of videos waiting to upload. Um, I have said they're ready. Uh, I thought they was ready. Uh, but hopefully after today they will be ready. So, uh, but I'll explain after at the end of the video. So enjoy the video and uh, enjoy, sh you know, seeing, you know, where your support is going. Um, you know, ho hopefully at the end of all this, I'll be able to invite a few of you guys down as well um, to see exactly where your support has gone. So thanks, thanks for watching.
So yeah, as I, as I said before, um, I'm going to go into just, to, just explain a few things. Um, now, it may, it may appear that I've neglected my channel, and the thing is, is that um, I don't, I'm not the sort of guy to just post videos for the sake of posting them. And there's a lot of YouTubers out there that will post anything to stay relevant. Now that's not the aim of the channel, and and that was never my intention, you know, for the channel uh, to go that way. So, I only post things when I feel like they're important, and the thing is, is that with our videos, uh, they're very delicate uh, for a few reasons. One, uh, there's demining techniques being shown, <clears throat> one which I got in trouble for before, but it's still on there. Um, two, the location, the most important one, the location where we work is well within artillery range. We have dealt with, with this problem many a times. Um, especially last year one instance um, a couple of weeks ago and uh, and three we need to protect the locals because a lot of these areas that we're working in there's a lot of locals living there as well um, so I have to ev heavily edit my footage um, and the footage has to be approved because there's people who watch my videos that are actually part of the Ukrainian government who who are uh, dealing with the demining um, and I don't want to get in any trouble the thing is, is that Ukraine for me is my home, um, you know, and it's it's quite easily, uh, you know, uh, you can you can get somebody killed, you know, uh, where we work. So the area that we work, the Russians are anything from five to fifty kilometers away. We work in a vast area, um, and you know and there is there is a problem with um you know attacks on on civilians and and, and especially us we have become a target like you know i can't stress this enough we are a target and partly due to that is because of how good we are at our job to be honest and um yeah so it, it it's we're always a target everyone's a target but for us specifically we are a target unfortunately 
Um, and yeah, so it's just, it is, I, I have to be careful and I do apologise that if I have neglected my channel a little bit, um, there is videos waiting to go on, there's, there's some really decent footage as well of us uh, clearing some AP mines that were found in a field. There's also a bit of a story to that one as well. Um, so yeah, I have to drive the UAS uh, out of Ukraine, unfortunately. Um, our classic, it's 1974 uh, vehicle. I had a major issue with the with the Ukrainian uh, authorities at the border because they thought it was a Russian military vehicle because it is a military UAS. Um, but it's actually ex-Polish army from 1974. So it's when, when the you know when Poland was under Soviet rule, um, and everything in here is uh, is Russian as well. So when I'm at the border and I'm like, look, <laughs> this is well, this is what it looks like inside. There's no power steering. Um, them seats fold down, so you know. But the good thing about these is that the tough, the good. I was as a Mercedes engine. It's not the Russian one. Um, yeah, let me show you the engine actually. Pretty fascinating. Look at this. It's not some, it's very loud in here on the highway. Ugh. Oh yeah. The engine's in the cab with me. <laughs> so that's the Mercedes OM six one seven. They call it the million mile engine. So it's good. And it's loud. <laughs> Yeah. So I've actually drove this from Mikolaev. I'm in Poland right now. Um, yeah, it's been. It doesn't. It's not fast. It, it goes about uh, 50, 60 kilometers an hour, seventy on a decline on a very smooth road. It's a big. Uh, let me show you outside so we know what you're looking at. Ooh. Just in case you've never seen one before. So the four-wheel drive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that obviously, uh, just talking about myself here, but um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be, you know, trying to get more support um, in the well that we can do. Um, you may have noticed that I've kind of got on to this EULA scheme so for anybody who doesn't know what that is um, it's a scrappage scheme that was created by the London Mayor um, to allow vehicles to go to Ukraine vehicles without high emissions that don't make the call um, and we transported a Berlingo over now this 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 scheme has been a headache for over a month like there's a group of us that are working on the scheme um, and you know we're doing our absolute best to get these cars through now there is a bunch of paperwork issues that it has to go through for each vehicle um, it has to go to a certain brigade that does military it can't be used for offensive operations um, yeah it's just it's just a, a hell hellish jumping through hoop sort of um, scenario basically uh, but we've we've got the first one through which I brought over from the UK delivered it in Mikolaev I'm now bringing this back out and then now we've got a Pathfinder which is a 4x4 four four, um, and we've got that for the uh, for the brigades um, in the in Kharkiv direction Kharkiv's under so, so much um, intense fire at the minute it's it's crazy like they are really really pushing hard um, to try and try and get Kharkiv you know Ukraine is really on the back foot forget what these media outlets tell you um, they are really struggling and they're holding on and the 23rd brigade that I used to work with for, for a long long time um, we were still in contact but they asked me for help last week like they have never asked me for anything you know we speak but they say Harley please if you can get these uh, ground drones um, please we need them like we were holding on and that's it uh, so yeah it, it, yeah so we're just doing our best you know and, and for me I'm just going uh, where where everything is needed the most um, 
and for me it's not just about d mining and eod i do a lot of different things i, I you know mainly in logistics to be honest um but it, for me it's just the collective effort and doing the best that i can uh in 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 what i do and yeah so we've got um the vehicle does attract some attention sometimes it's wanted and sometimes it's unwanted um because of where it's from <laughs> someone was shouting at me then. um but yeah so all i want to say is that you know there is going to be some good updates coming and we are doing the best of it we can there's actually a group of us that are just physically and mentally like hitting it every single day you know we're, we're, we're trying to get as much supporting as we can for the military uh we're getting asked for mines from like left right and center like different brigades like we are mines 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 and the thing is we just can't get them out the ground fast enough you know um it's a really really difficult situation at the minute um and the thing is as well is that what because we're working her some direction uh, we always we always think that the Russians are going to come back, and um, and I even said to the guys, I'm like, you know, we're giving all these mines away, we're digging them up, but you know, would it not be better just leaving them where they are, just in case they come back? We do, I don't know, like what 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 is the best thing to do? Um, but yeah, it's, it is, it's a crazy one, you know, and everything that we do, you know, we do we do it with. Ukraine's best interests at heart and um, yeah uh, and for me that's all I've ever done I've always done like made my decisions on what's best for Ukraine not what's best for me or anything like that it's like what's best for Ukraine um, and I always say I don't do it for Ukraine uh, I do it for people of Kherson and Mikhailov which is true to a degree but at the same time when I'm seeing areas like around Avdivka that I was based at for nearly 12 months before any of you guys knew who I was fall that everywhere where, where we was based it is now under enemy control Kharkiv you know I, I lived there for two years and now it's getting hammered um, and it's like you know what what do you do you know um, and you've got to look after yourself as well you know especially me I've had so many health problems lately it's you know it's easy to get invested and for me I, I try and invest myself in everything all the time you know and try and just make sure things are done but you know you, you only end up making yourself ill and and that's what the doctor said to me you know uh the the, the other week I had a heart scan and they were just like you have some serious anxiety you know uh, they could just tell by talking to me and it was an Indian woman and if you could tell just by asking me certain things and watching my heart and valves and stuff on this scanner thing you know like what well, like what pregnant women have and she's like you've got some anxiety <laughs> like so yeah anyway um i hope you're all well i should be seeing star ski in the next few days hopefully if, if our paths meet like agreed um so you may see me uh with andre um but i hope you're all well and i hope everybody is um in good good health and having a good weekend today's sunday i'm gonna upload this video today and um yeah everybody just have a really good weekend and, and and a good week and thank you for your support and you know if you ever if you oh hang on got some patches actually i want i want to show you <laughs> these patches are actually uh I've been selling them for ages now. I thought the other day I've never actually put them on YouTube ever. Um, where are they? This is the back, by the way. Then you need some bar there. So these ones we've been selling for ages, and these ones are the uh, four to all ones, which actually came very late. Um, I'm a big advocate, uh, I admit no secret, of medical cannabis. I feel like it's it's really life-changing for a lot of people, um, some, including some members of my family. Uh, so I did actually have some pe patches made to be sold at a 4 to all event um, by a friend, but he didn't make them in time. So we've got these, and we've got our traditional, original Curse on Apostles, I support landmine recycling. Um, 
and they're the mines and that's a drone uh, I have actually I've been I've been selling and funding my work ah, through my patches for for a few months now and, and I actually thought the other day I thought I've never ever put them on YouTube <laughs> and you guys are uh, my bigger support as well you know I usually sell them online um, some of you obviously follow me on different platforms as well uh, but yeah if you want to if you want a patch we just have for a minimum donation of 30 quid 30 pounds English pounds um, and that includes your international postage as well so Cara my partner she'll post them out um, she deals with all that it's good they usually arrive anywhere in the world within seven days um, so if you want a patch I'm going to I'm going to highlight an email address that I'm going to make specifically uh, for that and you can communicate with me via the email um, yeah yeah it's the best way it's the way forward um, so yeah thank you and uh, have a lovely weekend I'm not going to bore you anymore it's Sunday